Good morning. <laughs> Another busy day at our house. We actually have a Thanksgiving celebration later, so instead of a work work day, we're just kind of picking up, cleaning up. Just finishing up breakfast. absolutely insane what you accumulate in a vehicle we had our last vehicle for five years and a lot of this stuff I'd rather never see again <laughs> it's almost done there's a few things left need to be taken care of the neighbor just stopped by, dropped off some gourds and pumpkins and things for the animals, which was really awesome. So Matt and I got all those loaded in the brooder area. We fed some to the, ch the pigs and the chickens now, but so much that we'll be able to set it aside and we'll get some nice treats this winter, which is exciting. So I just finished saying that Matt and I weren't going to really have like a typical work day today since we had some stuff going on, but uh... We work every day. Here he is! Downstairs running lasers. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not running them both. That one just stopped. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna load it though and fill it back up. We got time. So it's another day. <laughs> Matt's in the kitchen as usual, making breakfast for the whole darn family. <laughs> what you making? Bacon, pancakes. And gonna be those laying hens out there pretty soon. <laughs> you got a couple eggs. Yeah, we got six, I think, today. Well, yesterday and this morning. So I've lost track of what day we are on for this vlog, but we've got some Thanksgiving leftovers and I'm making a quick lunch. We've eaten most of the leftovers already, but does anyone else do this? I just threw it all in a pot and I heat it up, season it, whatever. We're gonna have bowls <laughs> for lunch. That's basically what a KFC bowl is, right? Matt's giving me a hard time because I'm trying to doctor up these Thanksgiving No, leftovers. you're not! You're <laughs> messing it all up! I no. was doing this before you came in. It been you good. added cream cheese! Who doesn't like cream cheese? I added like two tablespoons of cream Ugh. cheese and some butter. What I should have added was just regular cheese, but he won't let me add it now. But I'm going to add some seeds. Actually, the stuffing was so delicious. It might not need anything. Um, it was so good. But <laughs> you can never go wrong with cheese. How about some garlic, Matt? Is cheese? Why garlic? cream cheese? I was gonna do both. You're crazy. You don't need cream cheese. All you need is a little bit of butter. That's it. Just a little bit of butter. All right, Not you guys... to remind you, I made this chicken with bacon grease. There was like it's cold left. bacon grease. I shoved it in the cavity of the chicken and then I cooked it that way. I said it was Thanksgiving leftovers, which it is, but the chicken, it the wasn't The chicken's turkey. from Thanksgiving. The chicken, no it isn't. I thought you just made it. You didn't make that whole chicken? No, I made that whole chicken. Isn't that what's in it? I thought that was the whole chicken. Yeah, well, yeah, some of it. Oh, so some of it is? Some of it's from dad's. Okay, we got it all over the place. All right, what if? Yeah, Matt added baking grease to the chicken. It gives me a hard time about adding cream cheese to some potatoes. It's all good. Yes, I did like the spatula from the cream cheese. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> did you add any seasonings? No, not yet. Just wait. It's still warming up. The butter is not melted. Hi. My back Well, itches. just wait. So today we're on to another Thanksgiving celebration, and I am going to make some dip to bring with. And this recipe is over from scratchpantry.com. It's one of Becky's recipes and she does a really great job explaining it. So I probably won't really go into it, um, but it's her cranberry salsa recipe. And I would call it more of a dip than a salsa because they're gonna put it on cream cheese, but I have made it without the cream cheese. And I think it's just as delicious to eat with crackers. So the first step is to get our cream cheese whipped up. 
And I'm going to be putting the dip in a pie plate. I've kind of learned my lesson. I did this last year on a plate and it got kind of runny. So if I put it right in a pie plate, that should not happen. So all of my cookie sheets are actually being used at the moment. Otherwise I would put my cutting board in my cookie sheet and cut this so my cranberries don't roll away. That works really slick, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I know you can use your food processor, but I just really like the kind of ruggedness of chopping it up. And we'll be eating this today. I really like it fresh and I think it tastes really good. I'm listening to the crown my apologies <laughs> thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and glad you got to see me bye